Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I am Leo Vor, and today we have another episode of the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, an excellent point and click adventure retro style with a very good story. I really enjoy it. So, um, here it is a new episode, uh, just uh, straight from my live stream. So, I hope you enjoy it. But before that, I want to remind you that, that like this video if you do and uh consider subscribing to my channel i do uh, different kinds of video games and content and uh, i'm sure there will be something here for you also if you want to catch me live on twitch you can go to the link down below and drop me a follow it will help me to reach affiliate status and you will know when i am live just to chat just chill or lurk if that's what you want and with all that stuff out of the way, let's dive right in to the game. Okay, continuing where we left off. Um, we just got permission to excavate the barrow. So, uh, let's check the to-do list. Investigate local folklore. Fix the fiddle. And define workmen for my excavation. I suppose I will have to go to town. Oh yeah, the guy said that today was market day, so we could get, uh, I could get a uh, work, working men for my excavation. Now, I to fix the fiddle, I need uh, animals. Okay, let's check the church and see if. The father is there with the guys he was meeting. Nope. He said he was meeting some youngsters to go over some scriptures. It's locked. Okay. Let's check him out. The, oh, the town square is packed. All right. Let's... Uh, with He's selling an assortment seller. of greasy meat pies and scotch eggs. Can I interest you in a pie? Finest mutton in all the county. Two pence each. No, thank you. You're missing out. I don't have money because some idiot misplaced my money. Hello, Miss Tompkins. Hello. We weren't introduced earlier. My name is Thomasina. Ma'am? How do you fare, Miss Tompkins? I'm waiting for Mr. Ambrose. Have you seen him? Who's that? The milkman. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. I'm afraid I haven't seen him. You are in the employ of Lord Panswick? Aye. He employs half a bullion one way or another. I'm in need of some help for my excavation. Do you think his lordship could lend me some of his laborers? Maybe. Might you introduce me to him? Sorry, ma'am, but his lordship doesn't take visitors. Mm, so I heard. I must wait here for Mr. Ambrose. Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. Uh, something is tells me. Mr. Ambrose doesn't turn yeah. up, and I find you some milk. Would you be able to introduce me to Lord Panswick? Hmm. His lordship really doesn't like visitors, ma'am. I'll take the risk. Miss Fenchurch will be cross with me. But she'll be even crosser if I come back without fresh milk. So do we have a deal? Aye. Bring me some milk and I'll take you to his lordship. Thank you. But hopefully Mr. Ambrose will arrive soon. Have you been waiting long for Mr. Ambrose? Aye. He should have been here a good two hour ago. F He's fuck him. <laughs> day, you see. He sells only the freshest milk. Miss Fenchurch swears by it. I hope Miss Fortune hasn't befallen him on his way here. I'm sure he will turn up. Oh, I hope so. Uh, really, I don't hope. I hope he doesn't because this is my ticket to the Lord. Are you familiar with Hobbs Barrow? What's that? Never mind. What do you make of these stones? Oh, gives me the creeps. Why? I don't know. Just a feeling. Who is Miss Fenchurch? His lordship's housekeeper. I'll let you know if I find some fresh milk. Thank you, ma'am. 
But tell me if you see Mr. Ambrose, won't you? I will. I won't. Good day. Hey up. What do you make of these stones? Don't look like out to me. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I'm a blacksmith, not a cattle farmer. I suppose. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. A jolly looking fellow. He'd make a fine snake oil salesman. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Would you like to try one on the house line? Um, well, one never knows why well, we will need a, we, we could need an apple for something, so yes. Please. Here you are, miss. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Sacks of apples and cabbages. They've all seen better days. She looks rather grumpy. Good day. Fresh produce. What have you got for sale? I'm selling meat, vegetables, and all sorts of herbs and things. You're welcome to have a gander. I'll be sure to browse. Do you have any milk for sale? Not today. Sorry. Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Of course, she's not going to have milk. Tins of corned beef. Ghastly. A decent selection of cuts and sausages. Various chards and beets. The box is full of various sprouts and onions. Nothing particularly tempting. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Okay, let's talk with uh, Mr. Stanley, Mr. Kemp. Joe, perhaps you've had enough sugar? No, you start and all. Who is this Joel? How many more sugar cubes is he going to add to his tea? He'll have no teeth left by the end of the day. Hello. Oh, hi, she's back again. Can't a man drink his tea in peace? There's no for you here, lass. Horrible man. How many more sugar cubes is he going to add to his tea? He'll have no teeth left by the end of the day. Okay. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Behrman. Mr. Bryden has given me permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Marvelous. I'm sorry you've had to sort all this out in my absence. When do we start? Tomorrow, I hope. But first, I need to recruit some locals to assist mm. with the dig. Exactly. It's too much work for me to do on my own. I see. Beaulieu has its fair share of strapping young lads. You'll find assistance, Miss Bateman. Thank you for your time. Hi, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Something tells me that he, we are going to regret it. A knife. Goodness me, I can't budge it. Be careful, Miss Bateman. You'll cut yourself. I spent all morning trying to get that bloody thing out. I shall be having words with that scoundrel next time he shows his face. Oh, yeah. The guy who was playing, you know. We have our very own Excalibur. It's all yours <laughs> if you can pull it out, King Arthur. Ha! <laughs> ah, well, it's time to be clever. Maybe with a chisel? I do not wish to damage Mr. Kemp's table any further than it already has been. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't can't think of anything that could be used to pull it out. I mean, how deep he did he? Stuck that knife there. Fuck that. It's Mr. Stanley Kemp. 
Do you have any fresh milk going spare? Sorry, lass. I've none at all. Never mind. Goodbye. See you soon. Of course. There is a picture here that I haven't uh, examined. It's a crudely painted scene that appears to be of a biblical nature. Oh. Maybe well, I were I thought it might might be a a clue. Let's see if we can find the cobbler. Hmm. No one here. Shit. Okay, another place where we could find milk would be uh, Mr. Breeding's uh, farmhouse. Well, not this way. But since I'm already here, let's go pay a visit to Mildred and see if can Hello again. maybe yes. she has milk do you have any fresh milk going spare no sorry not to worry farewell well yeah I think I'm going to have to de to ask Mr. Breeding and something tells me I will have to deal with certain uh disagreeable goat no not this way What do you want? Do you have any fresh milk going spare? <laughs> if you can get any milk out of old Eunice, you're welcome to it. Eunice? Me goat. Good luck. Ha! Oh. <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to be... This isn't going to be easy. Okay, maybe if I feed her with... But this apple looks like shit. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Well, let's see. Hey, girl. Would you like an apple? <laughs> the grumpy thing isn't interested. Okay, then... What could I do? Hmm. No, that won't work. Well, the apple was my only play here. Hey, girl, would you like an apple? <laughs> Maybe the because thing isn't interested. It's, it's rotten. I should be brave, Thomasina. I should be brave, Thomasina. I should try my hand at milking the goat. Be brave, Thomasina. Okay, I can't leave until I do that. Then that means I have whatever I need. I have everything I need.
Well? All right. We are doing this. Oh. Oh, shit. I... I... I'm not sure what that was. I don't know what's happening to me. All this superstitious nonsense must be getting to my head. But... Are you going to milk it? I'm not going near that thing again. So... I should ask Mr. Bryden if he could milk the goat for me. Okay. Well, did you get any milk out of her? I tried, and failed miserably. <laughs> uh, she's a temperamental beast. Perhaps you could milk her for me? I'd like to help you last, but I've just had a flare up in me joints. I worked myself too hard this morning. I couldn't bend down to save myself. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> My wife would say I'm beyond any help. I'm certain of that. But if you know of any remedies for aching joints, please send them my way. I'll see what I can do, Mr. Bryden. I'm going to rest for a while. ta -ra now. Okay, I don't know of any uh, remedies. But I know a certain uh, old lady that knows of them <coughs> this is a mildred lady oh it's flashback time daddy i have something for you i do hope you remember it I've taken great care of it. I'll fetch it for you now, all right. Daddy, you must remember this. The day that started it all. It's the red urn you buried in the garden for me. My first ever excavation. Hmm, where should I put it? Mother took away all the knickknacks that used to sit on these shelves. The pot might look nicer a little closer to the light anyway. Okay, this is Perfect. Place. It will catch the light from your lamp so nicely. There. I'm going to become a great barrow digger just like you. I hope the pot reminds you of those adventures we had together when I was a child and how thankful I am for everything you've taught me. Now I must tell you about my visit to Pallinghurst. I found an arrowhead. Good day. Yes? Do you know of any remedies for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. It's for someone else, Mr. Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? Well, I don't have the ingredients, I'm afraid. I knew what that. What do you need to make it? It's a simple blend made of natural elements. Elderflower and flirtwort. I can make the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then it just needs to be applied directly to the joints. That should ease his burden. Thank you. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hern Wood, 
but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look mm. like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Farewell. Okay. Tiny white flowers. Where well, I have seen that. Here. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Yeah, but the other one, uh, the other one, she said a private, a private garden. So I suppose I would have to deal with the Lord Panswick guy. And for that, I need milk from the milk. Good day. I need a remedy. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. I have some elder flowers here. Show me. No, no, this is not elder flower. It's cowbane. An easy mistake to make. The two look very similar. Oh. It's safe to eat, as long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. Okay, that's what does the one. elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. And Where can I find one? some flirt water? It's a perennial. You might find. Thank you. The moors. Farewell. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's keep looking for the flirt word. <laughs> So, I have cow's vein. It's toxic to cattle. Oh, your father shows Excuse up. Excuse me, Miss Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. Which work is that quote from? Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. Okay, that, that was uh, weird. It's locked. It's... Oh, this is uh, Mrs. Deplancy. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. Deplancy. If you're looking for Father Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. Where um. is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Oh, he has a tower garden. How convenient for me. Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. You'll have to ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. Do you oh. know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere. For safekeeping, like. Were it in the graveyard? Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. Can't wait until tomorrow. What do you make of these stones? They are not Christian. I'm certain of that. I agree. 
much older, I feel. Older than Christianity? Oh, the youth of today. I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? Bateman? William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. My father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I concern myself only with matters related to the church. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. These box pews are most unusual. I've never seen any quite so tall. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Oh. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I don't, pet. Not to worry. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Hmm. Okay, a basket. This must belong to Mrs. De Plancy. That's not mine to interfere with. So, he said he st st hid it somewhere outside to keep safe. In memory of George Paxton. In memory of Peter Black. In memory of Mabel Hurst. In memory of William Ager. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Hmm. In memory of Benjamin Garkham. In memory of Millicent Smith. In memory of Henry Crozier. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Okay, that's a uh, Shakespeare stuff, and who do we know? That lies his Shakespeare, you guessed. So let's try the chisel to open this one. I think I can chip away at this plaster. There's a key behind here. I it knew it. Father Roach's spare. Ruin. Okay. Open sesame. Capital. Wild garlic, fennel, corn mint. Borage, quite the collection. And this one is a small label on the pot reads flirtwort. This is just what I need. Okay, we got flirtwort. Now we need elder war. And she said I could find she some the in the back. in the moors. Hope that stays on. Okay. Mm. Mm. Let's keep looking for white. White flowers.
Nope, not in here. Keep checking. No, wrong way. Now, now, where as uh, we can look for that uh, flower? Hmm. Every tried. To the forest. Hmm. I don't see any plants that are white flower. Hey, this girl. Oh, it's Jane. It's only thanks to Jane that I've gotten as far as I have in this enigmatic place. Yeah. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Very impressive. Very nice. I can juggle even more apples. Okay, let's give you this. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. <laughs> okay, what did I do? Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Hmm. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Good day. How did you like your apple? I'm afraid it is rather rotten, sir. Hey, up. That slant. Don't you be going around oh. telling folk I'm handing out rotten apples. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very impressive. Mm, where else? Even more apples. Where else can we go? I don't. Oh yeah. Uh, just try the, the house of these guys. I see that this poop. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. No way over here. I don't see more shrubs. Let's ask the old man There's in the tower. There's nothing else I wish to I can't think of anything. Hmm. Okay. Mutton pies. Okay, I'm a bit stumped here. I'm going to mark it for edition just in case because this is taking too long. 
Good day. Hey, up. I'm having some trouble extricating a knife from a table in the plow and furrow. Might I borrow a pair of pliers? A knife, you say? I can get that out for you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Crozier. Think nothing of it. Wait here. Okay, that was, that was easier than I thought. That were a struggle. Here you are. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Okay, now I have a knife, but no idea how to use it or what to use it for. Hmm. Oh, this is I've not used for the cowbane. The path disappears into Well, let's give the flirt word and we will see uh, about the other herb later. Good day. Yes. I think I have some flirt wart here. Show me. Ah, that's flirt wart, all right. Let me know when you found some elderflower, too. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Farewell. <sighs> When she said uh, private garden, I thought of the Lord, but I need her, her remedy to get the milk to be able to be introduced to the Lord. So that can be the answer. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where else can I uh, seek that? Uh, is, is this not a white shrub? No. Jolly looking fellow. He'd make a fine snake oil salesman. Mm. Fresh Scotch eggs. Hello, Jane. Miss. Okay, what's the point of that? Very impressive. I can. The box is full of. Let's try this again. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. Be careful hmm. with those things. Yes, miss. Okay. What if we do it again? I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. 
The box is full of various... I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Yeah, fresh. Them at steel. Would miss like to buy some? No, thank you. Sacks of apples, and they've all seen better. Okay, let's. Hey, who is this? Random guy. Let's check the alley. Oh, a horse! Hmm. Horse hair would make fine bowstring. Yes. She almost took my head off. Okay, maybe we have to. He gave her an apple. Hey, girl. Would you like an apple? She is completely indifferent. Perhaps the apple is too spoiled for her liking. Huh. It's Herbert, the local stray. I don't wish to wake him up. It's my crate of excavation tools. Hmm, okay. I need a fresh apple for the horse. But... Ow. Okay, let's check this out again. Clearly... Clearly... This girl... We have to make her... Her... Fumble... The, her juggling... Somehow. We dared her to juggle more apples, but she does it well. I don't know. I can't interact with anything while she's juggling, so it's not something I can. I need to do while she juggles. It must be something to do with the apple I gave her, but the apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. <sighs> I mean, warm holes? Wait, well, she said holes, not the worms. It's somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Hmm. Okay, so it does not have worms. But. What's this? This looks like elderflower to me. Herbs? Herbs? This looks like elderflower uh. to me. Okay, okay, now I'm beginning to see the picture here. The lady said be careful when she started juggling, so... Good day. Fresh produce. Is that elderflower you're selling? Aye, perfect for teas and tinctures. Any good for sore joints? Aye, penny a bunch. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Sorry, miss. Does it look like I'm running a charity? Can we work something out? A trade, perhaps? I deal in cash only, miss. No coin, no elderflower. What do you take me for? Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Oh, wow. Yeah, clearly, I have to distract her. Uh... With this girl juggling apples, but she uh, juggles the apples very well. So you have to do something with the apple before give, giving it to her. Shit. It's... The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. A horse, but... But maybe I can get a worm. I can't see how that will help me. No, I can't cut it. I mean, uh, if it had worms, maybe the girl would scare herself and drop the apples. But. I don't see a way to put, to get warm. I mean, if it has it has holes, it's because 
worms have have been eating it, right? No, that won't achieve anything useful. No, but I can't carve it. Maybe with the chisel. That's a peculiar idea. Hmm. Fuck. What? Okay. Maybe the the war. Okay. Clearly, we need to get worms into that apple. Well, it doesn't say it has worms. I cannot see any worms in there. I need to put a worm in there. Maybe in the holes. Shit. But where I can find worms? I remember I saw something with worms somewhere at some point. That's the, that's the bad thing of playing these games over several days. Then, then you forget certain details. Shit. I remember getting finding something and uh, and a lot of worms. But what the fuck was that? Uh, the farming maybe. No, it's not the farm. And the guard, no, the, the garden upstairs, no, I don't remember. It's, it was something I did the first of this, or the second episode of the, the gameplay. The game One of the first things I did. I, maybe, no, I haven't dug anything this here. This appears to be a recently dug unmarked grave. Yeah, no, I haven't. I mean, I tried, but she doesn't have any reason to do so. A civilized person won't do this, but... I may be a barrow digger, but I am yeah. a grave robber. I guess as much. Ah, uh, shit. And the farm, maybe? Hey. Oh. Oh, this is where I dug up James Ragdoll. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, here the the wall with the with the, the doll, right, right. Okay, can I pick hmm. one up? You're coming with me, little fellow. I shall name you Kenneth. <laughs> like the assistant that never came. I'm also forgot to send the money. So we do a little combination here. The worm has found a new home within the holes of the rotten apple. Oh, all right. Well, now we just have to tell Jane that hey, juggle this. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Okay. Oi, put those back. Sorry. Ah. Uh. Okay. Hello again, little worm. Okay, and is she going to fall again for that? That's a bit unrealistic. Hello, Jane. Me. Yeah, yeah, I know you can juggle. Is she going to fall again for the same trick? Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm. Not tempting. 
tempting. Oi, put those back. Okay, how the fuck? Sorry. Hmm. It's the apple I gave to Jane. Hello again, little worm. Oh, maybe if I exchange the elder flowers with the other ones that looked alike. Okay, let's do this again. She falls for it a third time. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Yuck, a worm. Okay, this is the uh, this is the fuck 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 cowboy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, we did it. I conveniently swap them without her noticing. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's go. Shut up, man. Let me go to uh, Mildred's house to get the medicine for Mr. Bryden for his uh, joint aches. Uh, her, his, sorry, his aching joints. So he can milk the gold, so he can get the milk, so the girl is satisfied and she agrees to take me to Lord Panswick. Good day. I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you go. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. It works wonders. Thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Bryden, I got your medicine. Yes? I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see her myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Oh, that did the trick, lass. I feel like a lad of 20 again. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk on you and for your in return. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. A fair exchange. Stand well back, lass. Believe me, I'm not coming an inch closer. Some fresh milk. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden. Okay, now then we are going to the market square to give the milk to the girl. So he agrees to help to lead us to North Panswick Manor to introduce us and hopefully secure help for the excavation i've got a pail of fresh milk here for you miss tompkins you haven't here mom you've saved my hide thank you are you all right i'm worried about mr ambrose any road i'm heading back to panswick manor now would you still like to meet his lordship very much so. Now, I can't guarantee you'll be home, all right? He's a very busy man. I'll take my chances. Follow me, then. 
I really hope this isn't true that she shoots people. What? I only had to cross the back? Come on! Time to call this. Sorry, ma'am. Give it here then. What the hell is this muck? Goat's milk, ma'am. You daft bit. Since when does his lordship take goat's milk with his tea? Oh, he will not be pleased. Oops, that's not my fault. Sweeper before I clip you over the head. Sorry, ma'am. And that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And remember that you can catch me live on Twitch. Just uh, go to the link down below and drop me a follow there. I stream uh, almost every day with the exception of Wednesdays and Sundays for now. And uh, well, again, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Just smash that like button if you did like the video. Consider subscribing to my channel. I upload different genres of video games and even some tabletop RPG. So there's something for you here, I'm sure. And all that said, I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.